Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I've had the best idea and I want to share how you can create a base, a nice round base, that could be for fall, it could be for summer, it could be for the holidays, it could just be for any time of the year. And once you've got your base in, Oh, the sky's the limit. Let me share. I have a beautiful cane basket here and I have this beautiful wreath. Now these are new into the collection at Prestige Botanicals and I want you to know that it is probably the best thing that I have laid my eyes on because there's lots of things that you could do with this. It doesn't have to be on the door. It can be the foundation for a design. And what I love about the color of the basket, the color of the cane, once it's, or the base of the wreath, once it's on top there, just with a little bit of fiddling around, and of course I'm a bit rough with my fiddling around, but I know that I can rely on you to be much neater than I am. Okay, so that can just go onto there now. I want to put things into the middle of it and to embellish around the edge of it. I don't want to disturb the wreath because I might have other things that I might want to use that wreath for. So why destroy it at this stage when I can use it for other things? So with a little bit of thought, I've worked out how you can do it without cutting. Now. The next thing, because I'm going to put things into the center, I found this footed dish. This used to have be used for strawberries until I think one of my rough boys may have been a little bit too rough and chipped it. Fine for what I want to do today. That is just going to go into the middle of the wreath like so. Now, I have some magnolias. I could cut the magnolias, but I don't want to cut the magnolias because I might want to do something else with those. So what I've done is I've just gently just twisted those around. And what I love about these little cut magnolias is they just look like at the beginning of spring when there's still these lovely little tight round white things and they haven't quite opened. And I do love the little detailing in the center. And what's really nice is when you do look into the center, it's in this lovely surprise. Right, I've got three of these. So by twisting that around like that, oh, that's exactly what I wanted it to do. I wanted to sit up a little bit. Usually these would be cut and glued into place, but you know, as I said, we're not wasting. So I've got three of these. So with equal distance around the outside, I'm just gonna place those so that they sit up. Some can be a little bit higher, some can be a little bit lower, and some can twist out the other way. So equal distance between the three of those. And those leaves, what's lovely about these leaves is, it's actually giving another green. So you've got the lovely eucalyptus with the little, with a few little berries. I just love those little wee berries into there. And so with the eucalyptus leaves and with the leaves of the magnolias, you've got two berries beautiful greens that are all starting to build up a picture and with the little white berries here they are connecting into the design like so. So each of those have gone in and they've just sort of, they're going around the inside so the base of the foot of the glass vase or the glass um, dish is actually helping to hold everything into place. Now I've got these new, look at these. Oh. Who doesn't love a hydrangea? Okay, so with these, these can just be, I've slightly rounded those and they're just being poked, poked in and around again. Some is considered a bit higher, some considered a bit lower, and I'll bring that around and just gently, gently now, we have to be gently, because you know how I can be a little bit rough, rough. We don't want to be rough, rough. We want those to be sitting like that. So we've got sort of, they're about sort of kind of like equal distance between all of them. Doesn't matter if it's not too even, even perfect, because as I always am saying, nothing in nature is perfect. Now I thought I might like a little bit bit more of the grey. So I've got the grey of the eucalyptus and the grey of this lovely dusty miller bent again so that that can go down 
and into there like so. So we're building up this beautiful picture with all these lovely greys and greens. So I've only got two of those, so I'm gonna put one over to there, and then I'm just gonna bring that one down and over to there. So if you're stuck with, okay, so I've gone threes in a round, so to get the balance right is always equal distance. I've used the three magnolias, equal distance or thereabouts, and when it comes to two, just remember, just think of, okay, well look, there's a middle line running through there, and I'll just put a bit on that side and a bit on that side balances it out. The next to go in are the snowberries. The reason I'm using the snowberries is, is because I've got the white and also, uh, oh yes, when you look into it, look, 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 even though I've hidden them, there are some little snowberries just down into there, so it's just going to bring that snowberry out so that it got, it's got more of a dominance. Now the same thing, these are just twisted again, so that I can just twist those and put that into there. Isn't this just the best idea? This is for designing for people who are really busy and you don't want to be mucking around. Now I've got that going that way. With this one I'm going to position this so that oh, it goes the other way and I've got two which I've split so I'm going to bring one down and into there so that that sort of sits up a little bit oops I want to sit sit I said sit so I'll bring that one up and then with this one I just thought that I would like to just have that so that it just goes up onto the top there so I've got one a little bit higher and one just a little bit lower I hope you can see that now Here's where the fun begins. Do you want to put some fruit into it? You could put some grapes in. I've got, and these can just sit on the top because I've got this lovely saucer on the top. So there's three of those. I'll have one there, I'll put another one there, and these are all just going to rest on this, the leaf structure. So it's quite a good idea having all of this different types of foliage. Now, if you wanted to, you could pile apples into the centre, like so, and then, oh hold on, hold on, I made a wee mistake, I got a bit carried away. Lift the grapes so that the grapes are actually, and I'm not going to muck, muck with it, but how's that for coffee table, centre of your dining table, just this beautiful arrangement for all year. Now let me show you what else you can do with it. I'm loving this idea. Take that out. If you wanted to have a candle, because that's all you felt like. How's that? Beautiful candle, little bit of light for dining at night, sitting on your coffee table with the fire going beautiful. One minute. Want to take it a little bit further and into fall. Look at these that I found. Pears. I've got some lovely little pumpkins here. I've got apples. I'm getting a real workout today with my back and forwards, but I'm telling you, I'm really excited about this. And I think that if you're busy like I am and you like to have something that looks visually interesting at your place, this is fantastic. So with the candle for Christmas, like you could just put some little cones in. Look how fantastic this looks. Just by the basic base and then just changing it up. You've got something that's looking like, oh, it's like fall, it's like winter. You don't want to have too much colour in your house. This is fantastic. Now, one moment till I take it to a new level. You can see that I'm loving this, can't you? Take the candle out. You know what, you could probably even have orange candles and orange roses and things to just change it up. Now, taking the grapes out, because I don't really like those grapes, I'd rather have fresh grapes. But look, you could just pile it up into the centre with gorgeous apples. Is this going to work? No, it's not going to work, so hold on, let me just see if I can go this way. Just putting some lovely apples into there and just building up this beautiful story. This isn't going to work either, but hold on, just bear with me, it might work. And then just piling some pumpkins into the centre there and then some cones around the outside. Just for something that's a little bit organic and fallen. Oh, now how's that? All of these different things that you can do, I don't actually like those, so I'm taking them out. Have a good quick look now because I'm taking them out because I didn't like them. I think I'll do something else with those. But per to be perfectly honest, oh, even just 
one of just the pear in there with some cones or some apples could look really lovely so there you have let me take all this out because I just want you to see it like that so one basic concept foundation and there's lots and lots of things that you can do with it and there was one more thing I wanted to share you might like to incorporate some fresh flowers into it and so now you have fresh lilies with a beautiful fragrance and who would know what was real and what wasn't. I hope you've enjoyed this, I've enjoyed sharing it with you and I look forward to seeing you again another day.